Hi, we are from at home tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on decimal numbers about its expanded form, finding place values and comparing the given numbers. Our first question is, write the following decimal numbers in expanded form. So, we will see one by one. First question is 20.03. So, first we will write the given number. So, 20. 0.03 so this is the decimal point now from decimal point we have two sides so this is the integer part and this is the decimal part so first we'll go from the integer part so the number next to the decimal sign after the in the integer part is we'll call it as ones the next we will call it as tens then the number in the decimal part we will start with tens and then hundreds so it represents two tens, zero ones, zero tens, and then three hundredths. So two tens we will write it as two into ten. Zero ones we will write it as zero into one. Then zero tens we will write it as zero into one by ten. And then three hundredths we will write it as three into one by hundredths. So the expanded form of twenty point zero three is two tens plus 0 ones plus 0 tenths that is 0 into 1 ten plus 3 hundredths that is 3 divided by 100. So this is the expanded form. The next question is 2.03. So the given number we will write it like this 2.03. So the this is the decimal point number left to the decimal point we will call it as integer part and the right to the decimal point we will call it as decimal part so we will move from the number next immediate to the decimal part point so here we will call this as ones and this we will call it as tens and hundreds so how many ones we have we have two here so we'll write it as two ones so here we have zero so we will call it as zero tens Next number is 3, so we will say it as 3 hundredths. So how we will express it as 2 ones, that is 2 into 1, 0 tenth, 0 into tenths is 1 by 10, and then 3 hundredths, so it's 3 into 1 by hundredths. So how we will write it in the expanded form 2.03 equal to 2 into 1 plus 0 into 1 tenths plus 3 into 1 hundredths, that is 3 by 100. So, this is the expanded form of 2.03. Next question is 200.03. So, first we will write the given number 200.03. So, this is the decimal point. This is the integer part left hand side and right hand side is the decimal part. So, we will always start from the number immediate to the decimal point. So, if you go for the integer part, we will call this as ones, this is tens, this is hundreds. The decimal part we will call it as tens and then hundreds. So, we will go from here. So, two hundreds, zero tens, zero ones, zero tenths and then three hundredths. So now how we will represent 2 hundredths, 2 into 100. 0 tenths is 0 into 10. Then 0 ones is 0 into 1. And then 0 tenths. So 0 into tenths is 1 by 10. 3 hundredths. So it is 3 into 1 by 100. So now we will write it in the expanded form. So 200.03 is 2 into 100 plus 0 into 10, plus 0 into 1, plus 0 into 1 tenths, plus 3 into 1 hundredths, that is 3 by 100. So, this is the expanded form of 200.03. The next number is 2.034. First, we will write the given number 2.034. So, decimal point so, the immediate number we will call it as 1s. Then this side on the right side, that is the decimal part, we will start from 10s, 100s and 1000s. So, 2 into 1s, 0 10s, 3 hundreds, 4 thousand. So, how we will express 
2 into 1, 0 into 10s, 3 into 100s, 4 into 1000s. That is 4 into 1 by 1000s. So, how we will write in expanded form 2.034 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 0 into 1 tenths plus 3 into 1 hundredths plus 4 into 1 thousands. That is 3 hundredths plus 4 by thousands. So, this is the expanded form. Now, we will write the next example 253.417. So, we will write 253.417. So, the integer part is 1s, 10s, 100s. The corresponding decimal part is 10s, 100s and 1000. So, now how we will express 200. So, 2 into 100, 5 tens, 5 into 10, 3 ones, 3 into 1, 4 tens. So, 4 into 1 by 10. 1 100s, 1 into 1 by 100, then 7000, so 7 into 1 by 1000s. So, now we will write in the expanded form. So, 253.417 is 2 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1 plus 4 into 1 tens plus 1 into 1 100s plus 7 into 1 thousands. So, this is the expanded form. Now, we will see the next example. Write the place value of 2 in the following decimal numbers. So, first number is 2.56. So, the given number is 2.56. So, it is the decimal point. So, the 2 is before place. So, it is in the integer part. So, we will start with 1s. Okay. So, now I will write 2, 1. So, 2 into 1. So, the place value of 2 is 2 into 1 that is 2 ones. The next number is 21.37. So, first we will write the number 2, 1.37. So, this is the decimal point. So, 2 is in the integer part. So, we will start from here. It is ones. Then it is tens. So, 2 tens. 2 into 10. So, the place value of 2 is 2 into 10 that is 20 which is nothing but 2 tens. Next number is 10.25. So, the given number is 10.25. So, now this is the decimal point and our number 2 is in decimal part. So, which is in the tenths place. So, 2 into 1 tenths. So, the place value of 2 is 2 into 1 tenths. That is 2 by 10 which is nothing but 0 0.2. So, we will express it as 2 tenths. The next number is 9.42. 9.42. So, 2 is in the decimal part. So, this is tens, then hundreds. So, it is 2 into 1 by hundreds. So, the place value of 2 is 2 hundreds. Next number is 63.352. So, 2 is in decimal part. So, it is tens, hundreds, thousands. So, how will we find the place value of 2? 2 is in the place of thousands. So, we will find the place value as 2 thousands. Next, we will find the comparison. Now, quickly compare these numbers 35.63 and 35.67. So, first you have to start from the first digit. So, here it is tenths digit. So, it is same. Now, you compare the ones digit. That is also same. Now, it is decimal point. Now, you compare the decimal part. So, in the decimal part, the first that is tens place is same, 6, 6. Now, you compare the hundreds part. So, here it is 3, here it is 7. So, we know 3 is less than 7. So, 35.63 is less than 35.67. The next number is 20.1 and 20.01. So, first you have to start from the first number that is tens digit. So, they are same. Now, you see the ones digit. They are also same. Now, decimal point. Now, you compare the decimal part. So, here it is the tens place is 1. Here tens place is 0. So, now 1 is greater than 0. So, therefore, we can write 20.1 is greater than 20 point. 
zero one. Next number is nineteen point three six and twenty nine point three six. So first you compare the first number that is the number in the tens place. So here it is one and here it is two. So one is less than two. So therefore nineteen point three six is less than twenty nine point three six. Hope you have understood how to find the place values, how to compare the decimal numbers, and how to write the decimal numbers in the expanded form. Thank you for watching this video.